At this stage of the expansion, obviously you have to be a little bit worried. We're at the 116 month mark, and that's the longest bull market in history, so that makes you a little bit edgy. But I think you asked the question, does this bull market have further to go? And the answer to that question, in my judgment, is very clear, and it's, it's, it does have further to go. The second thing is, is that when you think back to what's been going on in the last couple of weeks, two, three weeks, we started this problem or decline in the stock market when we were pricey or overvalued, about 1.5% overvalued. And now we've moved down to a price or a, a level that's about 5% undervalued, with the upside potential now being much greater through 2019 being close to 10%. You don't often get a sort of silver lining behind a dark cloud. Now you have one. It's from a valuation point of view. We've gotten down to levels that are very sensible. So I would look at this as an opportunity, opportunity in an ongoing bull market, and I would take advantage of it. And that's why I tend to be a little bit uh, more aggressive than most at this stage of the at this stage of the bull market. The correction was really a silver lining in an ongoing bull market. Grant, would you agree with this tactic? Because if I'm an investor and I've been shell-shocked over the past couple of days of selling here, I look at the Russell 2000 and think that has been giving me a signal that it is towards the end of the expansion. The index is down about 9% sure. for the month of October alone. We're losing technology. We haven't picked up the leadership of financials or, or a lot of others. And, and what has been sort of, quote, unquote, relative leadership has been healthcare, which is a defensive sector. What are the markets telling me and what should I do? Yeah, so I think from, from our perspective, we, we take the view that, that Hugh uh, has as well, which is that uh, this is not the beginning of the end. We've heard it uh, multiple times uh, every you know, month, quarter, every time volatility uh, rears its ugly head uh, in, this, in this last nine years. And in and, and our minds is that um, you know, the, the Fed is doing the right thing, so they are normalizing interest rate policy. Um, the, the comments that Ch uh, Chairman Powell had a few weeks ago about uh, being a far, far away from normal, um, I think gave markets a little bit of a pause because the, there's a fear that there's more hikes to come and that might uh, spell the end for, for the equity market. But we don't think that's the case. And so from our perspective, while you know, volatility is certainly... Why not? If he said that... What, why not? Yeah, if he said, and, and, and people believe, there are more hikes to come. I, but uh, there have been more hikes to come in the last three, uh, three years. There, there's been three years of hikes. And so I, I don't think just because there's more hikes that necessarily means that the market is going to you know, go, go south. Um, from our perspective, if you look at earnings backdrop of U.S. companies, it's been phenomenal. So you've had two quarters of 20 plus percent earnings growth. Uh, that's more, more, more to come for the third quarter. And so the backdrop provides a lot of fundamental support for equities from here. Okay, but Hugh, I, I, tell me this. What kills bull markets? Isn't it usually well, rising? What, is, what kill, why, why, Daddy, do bull markets die? <laughs> uh, it's, it's rising <laughs> rates and recessions, right? And often yes, two together. Yes, Tyler. That's right. Uh, and, and you ask the question, really, is are the level of rates now uh, are they uh, high enough to offset the good news about strong earnings? Right. And the answer to that question is, at least at current levels, interest rates are not that high. Uh, see me again at the end of uh, 2019, when I think rates will be higher, and you'll have the, a slowdown in the growth rate of earnings. Then I think the picture will change, and then I think I'd, likely to, I'd be likely to answer that question by saying, but rates are now at a level that offset the good news of Rising, uh, rising earnings at a slower pace. And I think that's when, late 2019, early 2020, we're going to see the Grant end disagree. of the cycle or the end of the bull market.